Okay, so now we're going to add a, um, a symbol to that particular kit, right? So we're on copy of Small Jazz uh, Rock Kit. We're going to go into Edit. Now we come up to these menus here, uh, this, the available, uh, available elements list and the chosen element list for the kit. So we're going to just sort of pan down here, scroll down, and we're going to find a, well, let's find a 19-inch china. So we're going to select a 19-inch china. Now if you look here, you have an arrow pointing that way and an arrow underneath pointing this way. That's if you want to take an item out of that kit or you want to add another item or add another item. You can add as many as you want and it just gets to the point where it'll just get too clustery. But we're not taking anything out. So in this case, we're going to use this button and we're going to send this 19-inch china over to that side. So the 19-inch china now appears down to there. And we hit OK. Let's go to drum because we're ready to drum. And it's going to go ahead and it has to uh, detect everything that it's, you know, going to have to do. Let's hit the start button. Okay, we got it. And there's our symbol. Now, I moved a little bit too quick. And this is great that I do this because you can actually, because these types of things will happen to you and you'll be able to get out of them. So uh, rather than um, moving something around, this is already activated, right? So now you notice how it's in the activation mode where it's moving every drum. Okay, well in this case, we're going to skip that item, skip that item. Uh, that's the 18 inch crash. Okay, this is the 18 inch crash up here and we want to move it to way over here. Okay. So we just moved it over to there. This is the one where I screwed up here big time. So that's taking that crash symbol there and we're going to move it way up top here. And then my snare drum, I accidentally moved. So you have to hit it so it highlights, okay? And then put it to where you think it's going to go. And if it's not exactly there, we'll just touch it again and move it up slightly there. Okay, let's move this up here for now. <clears throat> what that error was, it was telling me whatever hand you edit it with, and that's because I got my other hand, my other stick floating in the picture is when you edit it with that particular right hand stick, it knows that's your right hand, you can't use your left hand to replace it. So let's put it over there. No, a little bit more over there. A little bit over there. Okay, and then go and hit, actually, yeah, that's okay. And then hit done. Okay, and save changes. Done, all right. Sticks are in a picture now, so I'm going to just turn my body into the direction so I'm looking at the camera. And just sort of notice where they are. Okay, that seems fine. So now we've talked, uh, you know, about, you know, placement and putting all these things where, where we need to put them, whatever the case, and added an instrument. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how hard you hit, why you hit so hard, and what the volume versus velocity and sensitivity and those types of things mean. Um, when you hit a, a drum, okay, that's actually, when you hit it, it produces a volume, okay? How hard you hit it is the velocity it's taking to make, create that volume. So if I go like this and hit it as hard as I can, it's never going to get louder than that. And if I hardly tap it, you know, it's never going to get really softer than that. But it's almost impossible to play that soft. Okay, so the idea is you want it to be in a normal volume, but not its full volume, according to the velocity that you're using. So what we're going to do, and again, um, adjust drums, volume, and sensitivity. And if you look in this area of the screen here, you'll see volume mode. 
and if you look down here you'll see uh, a sound curve, uh, your volume and your sensitivity. So let's, let's first of all, um, this is my, my snare drum here. Right now my snare drum is set to 34. Okay, so just for the heck of it, let, let me turn that up to 100. Okay, or 991. Now look, I hardly, I hardly touch the drum at all. And look at the gauge over here. It's, it's showing maximum, maximum output by just this little stroke. I don't know if I can get that in the picture. Just touching it. I can't really get a picture of my drumstick. I'm just, just touching it, okay? So what I want to do is I want to lower the sensitivity. So what that does, it means I have to hit the drum quite a bit harder in order to get that type of volume out of it. So we'll put it down, let's go all the way down to 15%, okay? So now I actually have to hit the drum pretty hard to be able to get full volume. And if you look at the sound curve here, once it peaks red, that means I'm, it's not going to get any louder now. And if I'm hitting a real drum, that's loud. Because I'm really banging on it. So my sensitivity is set, we'll put to 15%. It was at 16. We'll move it up here and try to get to 15%. Okay, now let's go over to the volume tab right here. Okay, now while I hit my snare drum, I can put it up to 100%. Okay. Which means uh, at uh, full velocity, maximum 15%, hitting it as hard as I possibly can with the volume at 100. <laughs> I'm going to have that type of volume. If I move the volume, let's say down low to um, 19%, it still shows that I'm redlining, but it's not really that loud compared to the other things. Can't hear the snare drum. So, even though my sensitivity is whatever it, whatever it is, okay, it's 15, but the volume is too low. So we'll keep it back down at 15. I accidentally went in there. Something about software, you got to make sure you're on the right actual menu, because just by moving the stick will get you out of that. So let's let's put let's put that at at 75. If we can get to 75. Okay, so here's. 15% sensitivity at a volume of 75. graphic screen. See if we can lower the graphic. Lower on the screen. Can't lower the graphic while I'm on that screen so I actually would have to hit done okay because I'm having some latency issue there. Okay so I'm gonna put this I'm gonna move it up to 20 percent. Just so those ghost strokes are a little bit a little bit more sort of present when I'm playing something like that. It almost sounds like I'm doing a little drag, like you normally would on a, on a snare drum. You know how you would just sort of let it kind of bounce in your hand? They'd call that a drag. Well, you can't drag on an air drum, okay? You just can't do that. You physically have to use every stroke. So it's all, like I say, in, in, the, all in the fingers. And I'm going to show you what my hands look like since I've been playing these things. So now let's go up to this drum and see what this in comparison. So let's tap it harder. Now this is set at 
okay and the volume is at 60 so we're going to lower that let's lower that down to about 35 percent 34 35 okay and let's keep the volume the same now in relation to these two drums I would like it to be a little bit louder. Uh, the sensitivity is fine. Tom toms are a little bit different. Okay, so I'm going to keep the sensitivity, but I'm going to increase the volume a little bit. We'll put it up to 75. Okay, 35% sensitivity at 75% uh, volume. having some sort of latency issues here again okay so let's go ahead and let's see if we can go ahead and change this sensitivity okay so that drum is high lit so let's turn the sensitivity down to about 35 or so hmm. try to get it to 35 okay almost Come on, I'm just moving up one. <laughs> It'd have been nice if you could just tap it over. Like I say, it's just for the three or four days that I've had this, it, uh, I guess I'm doing okay, but alrighty. <laughs> alternating triplets you can definitely hear the accents right so it's very important that you have the sensitivities and the volumes appropriate for each drum and like I say it's just <laughs> they can sort of change maybe you know if you're a little feeling a little bit more healthy one day hitting a little bit harder whatever the case is but Okay, now that seems actually just a little bit too loud. So we're going to turn it down to about 60. I can get it to 60, okay. Okay. Normally floor toms are lost in the mix a lot of times. I know like on acoustic drums a lot of times. Same goes with our kick drum, right? If we go ahead and see what the, we're, I think it said 35, 38 or something. We're going to turn it down to 30. As far as the sensitivity is concerned. And we're not going to go quite so loud, but we'll put it at 90%. Okay? Because I want to be able to, when I, when I put my foot down, I want to be able to slam it, and I want to be able to 